massive kudos. He's finally done it. The hardest geezer, Russ Cook, he's finished his epic challenge to run the whole length of Africa, crossing the finishing line last night at the top of Tunisia, having done the equivalent of 379 marathons <laughs> to rapturous applause. Yeah, it's more than 10,000 miles he's run across deserts, jungles and mountains and faced a number of trials and tribulations along the way. Should we have a look at his incredible journey before we chat to him? It's been a long, long journey. Guns in face aren't an ideal situation, but we all, we all made it out alive. It, it, it was a very traumatic couple of days. Um, it did, it did properly wobble me. We haven't been able to get visas for Algeria, and if we don't get them, then it is game over for Project Africa. I'm lining up a few strawberry daiquiris, I reckon, in Tunisia on a beach somewhere. It's going to be a heavy one, I can't lie. Oh, what a moment that was. Russ, how do you feel this morning? Morning, Kate. How's it going? Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Oh. Not too bad. So, you spoke to us last week when you could almost taste that finishing yes. line and you were talking about grabbing yourself a Greg's <laughs> and a strawberry daiquiri. Did you manage to do both? Mm. I managed to get the strawberry daiquiri away uh, last night and a few beers after. We had an a, a unbelievable night with uh, soft play playing. So, yeah, uh, honestly crazy. I haven't quite managed to secure the Greg's yet. But hopefully next week we'll lock that in as well. I think, Russ, you're going to be live with us in the studio on Wednesday. We will sort you yes. your first Greg's here in the studio. Would yes, you like meat top, top. or vegan? Which would you prefer? I'm a, I'm a meat boy for me. If you can Good. sort me out, I'd be uh, top stuff. Cheers, cheers well, guys. Right. We'll get that done, I we'll promise. Sort that. Um, I wonder how you're feeling this morning because... It's a strange thing, isn't it? After all those hours, all those miles, you've done it. Do you feel elated? Do you feel numb? Where's your head at? Uh, I, I, it was quite overwhelming yesterday, to be honest. There's so many people here. Like, obviously, it's amazing to have so much support. Um, and it's just been quite overwhelming. Um, had a good party last night. Woke up a little bit frosty and a little bit tired. But, no, I mean... Just trying to soak it all in, really, trying to enjoy it. And um, the thought of not running today is a bit of a mad one as well, because that's not <laughs> been the case for the last year. Isn't so, that strange? Yeah, it really just overwhelming. Yeah. Um, uh, it is strange, very, very strange. So so this is the first morning in, in basically pretty much a year that you've woken up and not had to start running. Do you feel your body twitching a bit? <laughs> uh, no, I think my body's finally been like, Nice one, mate. Like, chill out a minute. Um, so, yeah, uh, need to get need to get some uh, stretching done maybe today, and then. But yeah, no running, so unbelievable. When you look back, Russ, on the last year, uh, I know it'd be hard to kind of process so many memories over yeah. that huge journey. Is there one moment um, alone running which you remember as being the most beautiful? inspirational moment? Is there one moment where it felt worse than it's ever felt in your life? <laughs> there, there's been a lot of moments. I think, you know, there was a, so many times where I was joined by, by groups of people running, which is always amazing. Uh, the energy, like, of a group of people running together, you just can't beat. Uh, but then, you know, the, most of this journey was done by myself. And I remember plenty of times running alone in the desert at night, uh, sandstorms beating me up pretty good. Uh, and, you know, I, having, having the music on in the ears and just screaming my lungs out, uh, you know, it's, it's quite hard to really contemplate the whole thing at the moment. But Was there ever a moment yeah, where you I'm thought, I can't carry on? Nah. Nah, I, I always knew, you know, it was, it was inevitable. Just needed to keep plugging away one step at a time and eventually it'd get done.
reason. Yeah, I mean, and maybe it's one of those things where if you let that thought enter your head, it would translate to your legs, and then it, and then you wouldn't be able yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> you have to keep that mental thing. Now, exactly. Forrest Gump, the image of Forrest Gump running, and more and more people joining <laughs> them. Uh, you had many times when you're on your own, and many times when you, you know. Uh, when he started to look like Forrest Gump, now being one of them, because the hair's been up and down, yeah. the beard's been long <laughs> and short. Uh, have you just yeah. let it keep going all the way along? Yeah, it's time for a haircut, I think, Kate. Um, <laughs> need to get this mop sorted out. It's, we're looking a bit wild these days, eh? <laughs> We've got a picture of them on the screen. I think it suits you. I think it's good. Of course, Forrest Gump <laughs> ended up meeting the Thank president. You. <laughs> um, didn't he? Forrest Gump ends up meeting so the President of the United Richie, States. Eh? I'm wondering whether you shouldn't be meeting the Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his own pair of Adidas trainers. He could join you for a quick run. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll test him, see how good he is at a 5K or something. <laughs> yeah, he might be up for a might be up for a stroll in his trainers. Um, so, and your girlfriend didn't come out. Am I right in thinking that throughout the whole thing? But you got to meet up yesterday. Uh, that was to have been a moment yes. for both of you. Yeah, it was it was crazy. First time that we've seen each other in fourteen months. So, um, you know, can't really put into words how much that moment meant. Um, but it's been like beautiful to have a little bit of time of a. Uh, so far, and we're, we're going to go off tonight and, um, you know, box ourselves in so we, we can uh, spend some time together. Tell us what you make. There's this, this weird, consp this weird um, controversy going on here in the UK. Um, some people yeah. saying, look, you were the first Briton, you've run the furthest distance ever, but apparently some guy uh, ten years ago did a shorter version, but maybe he was the first person to go from the bottom to the top of Africa or the top to the bottom of Africa. What do you make of all that? I haven't, haven't heard anything about it, to be fair. But, um, yeah, I like, there's plenty of people before me that have done lots of big runs and, uh, you know, kudos to all of them because they're, you know, they're big challenges. So, um, you know, nothing but respect, really. And uh, when we look at the map, uh, you don't go as the crow flies, do you? You could have made this shorter, mm. Russ. What was the reason for your wiggles yeah. and waggles along the way? <laughs> um, well, there was there was a few like geopolitical issues with the Sahel region going through the, the right through the centre of it. So you know, believe me, if I could have shortcut it, I absolutely would have done. But uh, for safety reasons, is, is we had to go around the west coast. So I added a few thousand miles onto the route. <laughs> <laughs> you got to see some more sites along the way. Now, you, you've raised uh, yeah, more exactly than 700,000, haven't you? Your goal was to get to a million. Remind us of what you're doing this for. Yes, absolutely. So uh, we're raising money for two charities. The first one is the running charity. Uh, we try and engage young people in sport. Young people going through hard times, we believe sport can really change their lives and we try and use running to empower them. Uh, and then the other charity is the uh, um, Sandblast, who work in the Sahari refugee camps, which is one of the biggest refugee camps in Africa. And they run educational and cultural programs there to also try and empower the people there. Amazing. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, uh, anybody that starts running, uh, always gets blisters. You must have blisters on blisters on blisters. Or do you have a special secret? <laughs> uh, there's no real special secrets. Uh, if you get enough blisters, then eventually your feet start getting numb to it. So really, you just go keep going. <laughs> it's the only advice I can give you. There's no shortcuts there. Just keep hammering them into the tarmac. And eventually, you stop feeling it. And presumably, wow. a few strawberry daiquiris helps. And that might help as well. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> little bit, little bit of caffeine, get a perfect head in your eye as well. That'll fire you up. I know. Okay. Well, we're going to find out on Wednesday where it all began because it was an idea, wasn't it? Uh, right in the nightclub in Brighton. It was, Isn't that yeah. where it came from? <laughs> yeah, that's where that's where the story begins. Yeah. 
Oh, I want to hear that story. And I think you might have to take your socks and shoes off and show us your feet, because I want to see what 10,000 miles does to a foot. Have you got them on <laughs> display there? No. No, no. slightly hidden. Yeah, Ooh. they're looking strong. Yeah. <laughs> we also want to know, you know, what's next for us? I mean, you know, you've done Asia to the UK, you've done the whole of Africa. What do you think, north to the south of America? Um, I'm not sure that's difficult enough. Oh. Um, oh. We'll, we'll have a look, we'll scout around the map and, uh, right. <laughs> and, uh, and we'll see what's, what's, uh, what's on the horizon. Well, we will be lining up the Greg's sausage rolls for you on Wednesday, live in the studio. Top stuff. Cheers, Ed. Cheers, Kate. All Good right. Day. In the meantime, have a little rest yeah. before you come in. I think you deserve it. Oh, Great, to to you. Great to talk to you. Great to talk to you. Massive congratulations. <laughs> it's such an achievement. Thank you, guys. It's huge. It's huge. Brilliant. He looks a lot happier than sometimes we've seen him on the journey, yeah. doesn't he? <laughs> you look a lot happier, Russ. Great to see you <laughs> finally over the finish line. Brilliant. Good to chat to you and we'll talk more nice on one. Wednesday. Would you have a sausage roll on Wednesday? Or... Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I think we all need to. We need them. OK.